Hello again my fellow CNC enthusiasts. Today I'm going to explain to you how to use the Price CNC AVHC10 arc voltage high controller. So when you power it up you see this screen. We can see straight away when you turn it on it'll jump to screen number one. Top left value here is the screen number that you're on and it'll always start on screen number one and by turning the dial we can go to other screens screen 2, screen 3, screen 4 so on. So on screen 1 we have the arc voltage it's currently reading 0 because I'm not cutting anything but that would read the voltage of the plasma arc. Then we have the nominal voltage I can set this value by pressing the button once nominal flashes and this is where I set the intended arc voltage. And then I set the tolerance voltage on this screen as well. The tolerance voltage is basically the maximum difference between the nominal voltage and the arc voltage that the high controller will permit before it issues an up signal or a down signal with the intention of changing the measured voltage to match the nominal voltage. So if I set the tolerance value down to zero I'm going to expect to see my torch go up and down and up and down and never rest at the right height because I haven't given it any tolerance. It's always looking to improve the voltage. So if I set this to 0.6 or 1 volts it will allow the measured voltage to differ from the nominal voltage by one volt before it issues an up or down signal. So if none of these values are flashing when I turn the dial it will go to the next screen. What we are looking at here is the time delay between the time the arc OK signal and the up or down signals are issued to the computer. The arc OK signal will come on as soon as the voltage is detected as being within a, the arc OK range and the up and down signals will issue after a given delay which is set on this screen. This value is not the same as the Pierce delay that you use in your G code. The reason for this delay is to give the plasma arc a chance to stabilize after the pierce before the height controller will start issuing up and down signals. So you want your voltage to stabilize with respect to the arc length before you use the voltage value to raise and lower the torch. And you might require a delay in some circumstances generally on thicker materials and this is where you would insert that delay. Then we have the arc OK range nomen value. This value decides the voltage range for which the arc OK signal will operate. So if I have my nominal value set to 100 on screen 1 and my value set to plus 50 and minus 50 on screen 3. The arc OK light will turn on when I'm reading my nominal voltage plus or minus 50. So effectively from 50 volts up to 150 volts of measured voltage the arc OK LED will turn on and that will signal to the software on your computer that the arc voltage is OK and that it can proceed with moving the torch across the material. Most softwares will stop movement of the X and Y axis if the arc OK disappears. Also the height controller will only issue up and down signals when it's operating in the arc OK range as well. Screen 4 is for hiding or showing the advanced settings. So it's by default set to hide but if I 
press the button on screen 4 it will change to show and then I will have a screen 5 to look at. If I go back to screen 4 and select hide then instead of a screen 5 I get brought all the way back round to screen 0 which I'll come back to in a minute. So to get into screen 5 I'm going to show the advanced settings and then we have screen 5. So this is the arc fail duration. If the arc voltage that is measured is outside of the arc OK range for greater than one second the arc OK signal will stop. Some cheaper plasma cutters will have more erratic voltage output which is likely to leave the arc OK range for short periods of time and to stop those short lived deviations from the voltage range from dropping the arc OK signal there is a delay here which will require one full second or whatever the value is set to but in this case it will require one full second of arc voltage to be outside of the 50 to 150 volt range before the arc OK LED will stop. This value can be set differently as is required by your own system. One second is a fairly safe default to go for. Screen 6 is a output signal test so I can check the output signals on the height controller and we should see the corresponding name of the output flash on the screen, the LED turn on and the actual signal should appear in the computer software as well so you can test your up down arc OK signals from screen 6 on the height controller. The measure period is a value that decides how many times a second the height controller will respond. You should leave this value set to its lowest, 0.01, and that means every 0.01 seconds the height controller will respond by changing the signal to on or off or up or down. If you have a cheaper plasma cutter which produces a poorer quality voltage, a less stable arc voltage, you may require to increase this value and by increasing this value to 2 I will now be averaging 2 measured values before it responds by issuing an up or down or no signal. If I set it to 0.1 it will respond every tenth of a second which is slower again and that will assist in cutting with a cheap plasma cutter. On screen 8 we can enable or disable the anti-dive feature of the height controller. The anti-dive feature of this height controller is mostly required for use with Mac 3 software with UC CNC software anti-dive is handled entirely within the software. When Mac 3 sends that signal to the height controller and this is enabled the height controller will block the up and down signals going back into Mac 3 software. The signal in Mac 3 that is enabled is enabled by a cut rule which has been put into the G code by Sheetcam or some similar software an example in Sheetcam where you might use cut rules in this way is for small circles, tight corners, small shapes leading into and exiting a corner on the start of a cut, on the end of a cut. Screen 0 is where you can save and load preferred settings. So if I press the button I will have the option to save the settings that I currently have on my height controller. 
I'm going to save those to memory slot number one and it will save the nominal voltage, the tolerance voltage, the THC delay value and the arc OK range to that particular memory slot and if I change the value I can see that by going back and loading memory slot 1 will bring back the original values. There are 30 memory slots that you can save to. So you're going to use up one memory slot for each particular material type that you have and material thickness. And you're also going to set up in your CAM software a particular tool for that material. So in Sheet CAM, one of my tool lists might be mild steel, 3 millimeters, 30 amps. And that could be saved as tool number 3 in Sheet CAM. So on my height controller, I save the preferred settings for that material in memory slot number 3. So when I come back to do another job in a few months time and I know I'm going to be working on 3mm mild steel, I know to select tool number 3 in sheet cam because it will say that information beside it and then I will know to select slot number 3 from the memory in the height controller because slot 3 and tool number 3 in the software will be associated.